It's been about four years since Navy SEALs freed the Maersk, Alabama cargo ship from Somali pirates off the coast of Africa. While the military performed the rescue, the ship's captain, Richard Phillips, has also been hailed a hero. His story is now the subject of a major motion picture hitting the big screen today. Merchant Marine Captain Richard Phillips first shared his harrowing story with CBN News just months after it unfolded aboard the Maersk, Alabama cargo ship. It began with a radio call he will never forget. One pirate aboard, one pirate aboard. From then on, it was a 12 to 13 hour slippery slope of hide and seek, uh, a cat and mouse game on the Mask Alabama before we got into the lifeboat. Four pirates on board, four pirates. Hours turned into days, and that cat and mouse game now plays out on the big screen. We stay locked down until help arrives. No one comes out until you hear the non duress password from me, which is supper time. With Academy Award winning actor Tom Hanks playing Captain Phillips. In the real life tale, the Alabama's crew captured the pirate's leader. Phillips surrendered himself to the remaining three and boarded one of the ship's lifeboats. Off it, and you're in the water, and off you go. I was supposed to be exchanged for their leader. The leader came down, uh, he got in the boat, and then he, they didn't exchange me, so that's one of the lessons I learned is n never trust a pirate. Barkad Abdi plays one of the pirates, Musi, in the film. Before landing the role, he was a limo driver living in Minnesota. I'm from Somalia. I was born in Somalia. I lived in Somalia until I was six years old. You know, at the age of six, the war started. His young life in Somalia gave him the background to embrace the role. Kids have no parents. I was fortunate enough to have parents that took me from country to country, be a better person and make something out of myself. But he didn't have that, you know, and I understand him. Captain Richard Phillips was the first American seaman captured by pirates in 200 years. He was freed Easter Sunday, 2009, after Navy SEALs shot and killed three of his captors. Before his freedom, there were many lessons Phillips learned in his four days aboard the tiny 28-foot lifeboat. The biggest lesson? There is power to prayer, and, uh, and it did help me. I didn't pray for escape. I prayed for strength and patience. I prayed for the strength. God would, God, uh, will, will let me have the strength to continue and, and know when to escape and the patience to wait for that time. Even when that time did come, Phillips had a hard time believing it. It wasn't until I was being hoisted up on the Bainbridge onto the deck of that U.S. Navy ship, that uh, wonderful sight that I get to see, that I finally realized that, hey, I, I made it. I I'm out of there. I'm alive. He shared his story in a book and now on the big screen, where there is Oscar buzz. But Phillips' biggest honor is recognizing his fellow merchant marines and shining a light on the dangers at sea fellow men and women of the International Merchant Marine who are kept at gunpoint uh, as hostage waiting to be freed. Definitely one I'm going to go see. Indeed, indeed. Merchant Marines are some uncelebrated people. It's nice to shine a spotlight on them. Definitely. Indeed. Definitely. Stay with us. We're coming right back.